Hey y'all, Chris Bassett here, and I'll be showing you how to connect your Roconia projector to a mobile device. I've got a couple other videos on the channel that might help answer questions, so check those out. I'll put links in the description. So let's start off with the easiest method to connect a mobile device to your projector is a wired screen mirroring. So you just take a USB cable from your iPhone or the USB-C cable from your Android and just plug it directly into the side of the projector. There are two USB ports on the projector. I use the one labeled USB slash SM. A uh, nice thing is also when it's plugged in, it will charge your phone. So just go ahead and open up your phone and then click on the menu, the option to use a wired connection, and you'll see it'll just pop up on the screen. Pretty simple. I have the six foot lightning cable so I can sit on the couch and watch the projector. Also, you don't need to have access to Wi-Fi to be able to do this. So if you have videos or images stored on your phone, it'll just uh, teleport those directly right out onto the projector screen. If your phone does have internet, then you have access to any of the apps installed on your phone. So you can watch Twitch, YouTube, uh, Tubi, whatever you've got installed on there. Uh, just go ahead and click on the video that you want to watch, and it'll automatically go into the 16 by 9 format. And the sound will come through the projector speaker. It's universal for a lot of projectors off Amazon. It was like $9. Now I'll talk about the second most reliable way to get this done is with wireless screen mirroring. Uh, without Wi-Fi. There are instructions for both the iOS system and the Android phone, and it basically consists of disconnecting the Wi-Fi from the projector. So go over to your Wi-Fi settings, hit OK, and then wait for it to load. Uh, whatever your Wi-Fi is, you want to check and make sure that it's disconnected. So here, give it a second, it'll load in. I need to hit the OK button, and then I need to say forget. So I type the forget action, that way my Wi-Fi is disconnected from the projector. Go ahead and return back to the main menu where you were sitting at the wireless connection screen and then open up your phone. Go to the Wi-Fi section of your phone, so in my case it's settings, and then tap the Wi-Fi button, wait for Raconia to show up on the list. Here it is at the bottom, I'll click that. And then the password is universal, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You'll then press the join button to join the network. And then if you look at the top of the screen, you can see the Roconia is now loaded in as my Wi-Fi. There's a blue check mark. Next, swipe up on your screen until you come to this screen. And then you'll tap the two squares in the middle that designate screen mirroring. It will then mirror anything that is directly on your phone. I couldn't record this because you can't screen mirror and screen record at the same time, but trust me, that works. The final and least reliable way for wireless screen mirroring is with the Wi-Fi. Oddly enough, I couldn't get it to work. Um, I don't know if my router's too far away or there's too many walls in between, but that actually caused a problem. But we'll go ahead and go over the steps of how to connect it, and maybe you can figure out some of the issues. So go ahead and hit OK on your remote when you're at that screen. It'll bring up your Wi-Fi setting. You want to go into your Wi-Fi settings, and you'll need to connect your both your projector and your phone to the exact same wireless internet. So if you are using, you know, like uh, a 5G network on your phone and a the 2.4G at your house, uh, that won't work. You need to make sure they're on the exact same one. So we're back at the screen where you choose your Wi-Fi channel and then enter the password. Um, I thought I read somewhere that this would work better as a 2.4G network. So we're going to try that. Go ahead and enter your password, and then it should accept it. If you do run into any problems, there is a reset or forget all network. So you can kind of basically reset the machine, enter the everything, and then try to get it to connect. Uh, it is slow, so bear with that. Once the connection was successful, you can go ahead and back out to the screen that says, you know, connect wirelessly. That'll be the screen that we want to wait on while we go to the phone and adjust the other settings. So now I'm going to go ahead and go into my phone, into the settings for that, and set up the wireless internet exactly the same as the projector. So go into settings, go to Wi-Fi, make sure you choose the same network, and enter the same password that you did for the projector. When that's done, go ahead and back out to the menu and pick whatever app you want to use. In this case, I'll be watching YouTube. So once you click on that, you'll notice at the top of the screen, there is a button right there. That means wireless screen mirroring. So most apps have that feature. Tap on that. And then you should see a device on the list that pops up that says AirPlay and Bluetooth devices. You'll want to hit that option, and that will bring you to the Raconia projector. 
Sorry, my phone battery died. Had to switch phones real fast. But here we're selecting the device from the AirPlay and Bluetooth. You'll see it'll pop up as AirPlay. The second choice on the list is Raconia. We'll go ahead and click that, and it'll check mark. Now our phone's connected to the projector wirelessly through Wi-Fi. Then you just tap on a video, and it should start to play. It says connected to AirPlay, and the video continually load, loaded and loaded and actually wouldn't play. So I don't know if my wireless router is too far. There is a few walls in between, and I didn't want to rearrange everything uh, just to try to get it to work. Or it could just be that the equipment, the projector sucks, right? I mean, maybe technology isn't good, but there are a couple ways to get it done. I usually just use my fire stick and it plugs in the side of the projector through the HDMI port. And that seems to get pretty good reception. So I watch fire stick 100% of the time on the projector and it works. Anyway, if the video was helpful, thumbs up's always appreciated. Uh, there's some more videos down below. Check those out. Uh, thanks so much. Any other questions or comments, put those below. Thanks.